All right, so in this second video of our Rangers of Shadow Deep campaign, I'm going to go over how to make some cheap, quick, and easy crates. So, once again, we're doing Rangers of Shadow Deep. And I'm just going to flesh out some dungeons or villages or docks or whatever. And we did barrels last time, and this time we're going to do some crates. And I also got these, this wood pile. And this was a pack of 72 for $3.50. And this pack comes in a bag, looks like this. And so I've done probably a dozen of these already. So I'm going to take this here cube. And I'm going to take my handy dandy Sharpie. And I'm going to go along the edges. And I'm not going to use the full tip uh, with these crates, less is more. And you just pull and spin, pull and spin, pull and spin. Let me see if I can't get a little tighter in here. Let's see if we can get a little bit better angle here. And so we're just going to go around. And like a dice, it's got six sides. So um, I just keep flipping it until I find a side that hasn't been done. Now you'll see this Sharpie kind of has a little bit of bleed over. And, um, but when you get this thing on the table, ain't nobody going to see that. Ain't nobody going to see that. And it's only certain parts of the grain that are going to bleed. That's why I'm just using the tip and not getting a full line here. We're using as little bit of the Sharpie as we can just to get that line. There's an empty one. Empty one. And let's see if we got, wait, I think we got all our sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an X across every panel. And you don't want to try to do it all at once. You just want to put your on one side and you just want to pull straight across. That gives me the straightest thing. And then I turn it and I pull. I never take this hand off of the table. I manipulate the block and then just pull because pulling is going to give you a much straighter angle and I want to try to get like just the tip on there I'm not trying to press down hard because if you get it too much you'll get little teeny triangles like that and um, in the overall scheme things it's not going to matter but you really want to have some of it left over for the brown so it actually looks like wood not just like a big black block so we pull, and we pull, make sure we got all six sides. And then I'm going to take my Minwax Dark Walnut here. And I'm just going to dip it and flip it and drop it down. And now it looks really dark right now, but it will lighten up. And I may need to get some lighter shade but let's let's dry it off a little bit and this will dry a lot lighter but you can see it right there and that's all you got to do I'm probably gonna leave a couple of them just blank like this that's what they look like side by side and um, I'm probably gonna use a lighter stain as well so I have a little bit of variety And that's it. 